Are you tired of massive ping spikes? Fed up with Roblox servers freezing? Or just sick of your game feeling slow and choppy? Then you're in the right place because today I'm going to teach you how to optimize Roblox using Blockstrap. I'll specifically be showing you how to lower ping and break through Roblox's 240 FPS cap so you can say goodbye to FPS Unlocker for good. First thing you'll want to do is go down to the description of the video and click the Blockstrap GitHub link. It'll take you to this web page here. You'll want to scroll all the way down to the installing section here and click the hyperlink to download the latest release of Blockstrap. Once you're here, scroll down to the bottom here to Assets and click Blockstrap version 2.7.0.exe. Once you've clicked to download the latest version of Blockstrap, head to your Downloads folder and begin the installation process. Once you've got it fully installed, come down to your search bar here and type in Blockstrap menu if it doesn't show up here at the top. Inside the Blockstrap menu, come to the top left side and click on Fast Flags. Scroll all the way to the bottom and click on Fast Flag Editor. Hit Add New, go over to Import JSON, come back to the video description here, copy starting with the bracket all the way down to the other bracket, Control C or right click and copy, paste it here, hit OK and hit Yes. Then you'll hit save and that should do it. You can now close out of the menu and you're ready to play. Just check out that difference. Ping is low and nearly 500 FPS. Now, if you're running a mid-tier PC or higher, or if you prefer visuals over extra performance boost, open the block strap menu back up. Go back to Fast Flags, scroll all the way to the bottom, and in Fast Flag Editor, you'll go back to the description of the video here. And again, main preset, no gray sky. Copy this, back to block strap. We'll go to add new, import, and it's going to say that some of these have already been configured. We just want to go ahead and overwrite previously configured file. We'll hit yes here, yes here, and we'll make sure that fast flag debug sky gray is set to false. That way, instead of having a gray sky in the game, you'll have the regular colored sky as intended. Hit save, but before going back to the game, go back to the fast flags tab here, starting at the top here with rendering and graphics. You can play around with adjusting these top four settings. Anti-aliasing is just going to make line look a lot smoother. You can enable and disable player shadows, disable post-processing effects, or disable and enable terrain textures. Personally, I like to turn this off because then I have good looking textures in game and anti-aliasing you can change to whatever fits your needs best. The rest of the settings in this section I don't mess with. However, I come down to user interface and layout and in the Roblox menu, it allows you to select super low graphics quality or super high graphics quality. I make sure to have use advanced graphics quality selector checked hit save close out of the menu and you're ready to play again it's obvious that this is more appealing to look at and fps performance is still pretty darn high keep in mind though the more graphically demanding processes the game has the more resources will be spent on rendering those graphics which will lead to lower in-game performance also note that these settings may not be perfect for everyone, so additional tweaks may be needed. At the end of the day, many of the limitations you'll experience will come from low-end PC specs, inadequate internet speeds, or Roblox servers just being ass on weekends. However, I do hope this helps many of you, and if it did, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more content. I'll see you in the next one.